this kind of weather we will not make any nice picture at all. Yeah. So what's the idea? The idea is we may just make some talk with nice foreground. Because if I make a picture, it will be a crappy picture. So what are you doing? Nice swirl. This is so awesome. Catching the wave. Uh -huh. Oh my god. This is nice. Just uh, measuring composition, you know. When I come here in the perfect light, maybe next time, I will know approximately where to go. So I already plan the picture in terms of composition. I do not have amazing light here, but I know where to go. So what are you shooting with? What's, what's that? Well, this is 1424. 1424. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and that's beautiful. Two filters. It's ND filter? One is ND filter and another is graduated filter. Oh. And graduated, why would you, to darken the blood of the sky? Yeah, just to create drama. Mm -hmm. Create a dramatic picture and make a nice picture just straight from the camera. and this is my footage. So, Daniel, uh, I have a quick question. Uh, when people attend your workshop, mm -hmm. are, they, are they actually walking that fast with you and carrying all their gear or no, you walking, help them? Walking very slow. Uh -huh. But I do not care anything for them. You don't care for for them, anything. and so they do it themselves. Yeah. Wow. Do they complain sometimes? Yeah, they complain every time. Huh. Like, oh, I need to carry all my lenses, cameras. That's cool. So this is crazy. They always complain <laughs> about their crest. You know, they need to carry huh. all their life. <laughs> Well, maybe if they were a Sherpa or something like that. Yeah, sometimes we hire porters. Really? And some people, they really arrive with their porters sometimes. Oh, well. You know, in their 70s, in their 80s. Okay. They can come with a private porter on the tour. In some places like Patagonia hikes, we order like local porters. Okay, but it's not cheap. Basically, in Patagonia, you will pay around 100 bucks per day. Okay, for porter just to carry from one spot to another. Gee. So I always need to instruct very carefully people about what they need to bring. They usually do not understand like what they need to bring. At location, for example. So they, like small kids, they also they always asking me. Like, do I need 7200? What lens should I bring? And if you're wrong, so basically, personally, I bring everything with me all the time oh, okay. in my backpack. So if I'm wrong and there is some crazy bird, you know, like beautiful bird, and they needed a telephoto and I didn't tell them that there is a telephoto, they will kill me. Oh, okay. So you're at fault all the time. I'm always like the, you know, the person in charge, and if something happens, not even with me and maybe with some food, with restaurant or with hotel. I'm always responsible you I know, see. for this. If they take amazing shots with all these bricks on their shoulders, they're happy like kids again. Nice. They're happy and uh, they forget about all the weight. You're seeing the light. This is a very good thing about photographers. But if we go all the way, like one hour, two hours hike to location, and it's raining, oh. they will kill me. <laughs> Did you ever have a workshop that the weather like really didn't cooperate? Yes, maybe. Among the worst workshops I had uh, uh, like I, I traveled two weeks in uh, Ireland 
around mm -hmm. Ireland. Then. Okay. So the whole circuit around Northern Ireland and Ireland itself. And it was raining for two weeks. Jeez. Like it was raining, like totally raining. Like, like downpour, huh? Yeah. But it was like the most uh, funny, the most amazing tour I've ever had. Because we spent most of the time in pubs, in Irish pubs. pubs. Oh. And they're amazing. So now I know how to dance these Irish dances.